Okay, so we have our chart here, and we're going to be talking about monthly, accelerated biweekly, and accelerated weekly mortgages. Now, the first thing we're going to do is calculate a normal monthly payment for this mortgage. So let's say we have a mortgage that is $340,000. Our interest rate is 3.09% on the mortgage. Um, we're going to say that we're going to carry the mortgage for 25 years. Okay. We're going to put this into our TVM solver. We need to know all of our variables, so we're going to bring that up. We're going to bring that up. Now, our N is the number of payments. So if I'm carrying this mortgage for 25 years and I'm making monthly payments, that means I make 12 payments a year for 25 years. Let's use our calculator when you plug that in. We're going to make 300 payments over the course of this mortgage. Okay? Our interest rate was 3.09. Now, mortgage, is it a present value or future value? Present value, good. So, our PV will be $340,000. Now, we're trying to figure out monthly payments, so which of these variables stand for that? PMT, that's right. We're trying to solve PMT. That's our payments every month. So we're going to leave that blank for now, and at the end we're going to type in our alpha enter to solve it. Future value. Do I have a future value here? No. So I'm going to put zero in for that. Now, remember, this is why I wrote that note earlier, why we cannot use the formula from before for a mortgage, because our payments and our compounding period are different. Now, we're going to say this mortgage compounds. What's the fastest a mortgage can compound in Canada? Anyone remember? Semi-annually, that's right. The fastest it can count, uh, compound on a fixed mortgage is twice a year. So our compounding periods, or our CY, will be two. Our payments a year. If we're doing monthly payments, how many times do I make payments? Twelve. And we're going to make these payments at the end of the month. So you make sure end is highlighted on your calculator. Put your cursor on PMT and hit alpha enter. So we've discovered, and remember it's negative because we're paying this down. That's how much we're taking off the loan every month. We're taking $1,624.77 off the loan. So I'm going to go back up to my chart. Okay. Payments per year. We're going to fill this chart out. How many payments did I make a year? 12. Thank you. <laughs> my payments were $1,624.77. Number of payments. How many payments do I make over the life of this mortgage? 300, that's right. My goodness, Damien's paying attention. Okay, now, total interest. This is where I know a lot of you guys run into trouble. Remember our loan is for $340,000. That's called our principal, if you guys recall. We've got to figure out how much I paid. So over 25 years... How would I figure out how much money I've paid after 25 years? What numbers would I use? Okay, so when we multiply those together, it turns out after 25 years, I've given back to, let's say it was TD Bank I took this mortgage off of, I gave them $487,431. They gave me $340,000. Okay? So, I have to take those numbers. I take my total paid, 487, 431. That's right, and I subtract them. I'm going to put another small little formula for you guys to use. Okay. We're going to take total paid, subtract mortgage. Total paid, subtract the amount I borrowed on the mortgage, will give me total interest. 
which I know all of you have in this class. So we take these two numbers, 487,431. 87,000. Oh, okay. Subtract so 340000. So after 25 years, I paid the bank an extra $147,431. They swindled me. Okay? So. Let's go back to our chart, put that in. The total interest, uh, obviously we're not saving anything yet because we're not declaring it, was 147431 So we calculate our monthly payments. Now we have to talk about accelerated payments. An accelerated payment, especially bi-weekly, is where we take our monthly payment and we just divide it in half. We make that half payment every two weeks. This is different than bi-weekly payments. The reason this is, is because if you guys remember, on a bi-weekly payment, we would make 26 payments. So let's start writing some of this out for you. So, accelerated bi-weekly. We're going to take our normal monthly payments, and we're going to divide them by two. Bi-weekly, that means it's every two weeks, and on average, there's two weeks in a month. Now, remember yesterday we talked about how that wasn't exactly true. There's an extra two weeks, oh, sorry, four weeks in a month, but there's two bi-weekly payments in a month. Now, remember we talked about how some months, and in fact, two of the months out of the year, we make three bi-weekly payments, okay? Because technically, there's 26 weeks in a month, bi-weekly weeks in a month. Getting confusing. Let's write it all out here. 52 weeks in a year. Okay. If we divide it by two, we get 26 bi weekly payments. Okay. So 26 bi weekly payments. If we were to only, because there's 12 months in a year, if we were to pay twice a month, how many payments would I make? If I pay twice a month, 24. If you guys notice, these two numbers do not match up. Okay, that's because there's an extra two weeks squeezed in there in the year. Now, normally when we just did a bi weekly, we calculated on the idea that we were making 26 payments. Okay? So we had a different amount. It was a little less than half of a monthly payment. With an accelerated bi-weekly, we divide our monthly payments by two, but then we make 26 of those payments over the course of the year. So we make an extra two payments than we normally would every year. This ends up saving us money every year and a lot of interest in the end. So, our monthly payments, we'll do an accelerated weekly after. So, our monthly payments were $1,624.77. Okay. I need to figure out an accelerated bi-weekly payment. I don't have to use the TVM solver again. This is a very straightforward calculation. I'm going to divide this by 2. This will tell me what my accelerated payments are. So we take our 1,624.77 divided by 2. We're going to make payments of $812.38 every two weeks. Okay. Now remember, there are... 26 weeks, sorry, bi-weekly time periods in a year. So I'm going to make this payment 26 times. We're going to compare that to our monthly payment being made 12 times. Okay? So I'm going to give you a little idea of what we're talking about. My total yearly payments...
For total yearly payment, I take my payments per term, okay, whether it's bi-weekly or monthly, and I multiply by my yearly payments or my PY, okay. For our first one, we used month. Uh, we were doing monthly payments of one thousand six hundred twenty-four dollars and seventy-seven cents. I make twelve of those payments a year. So my total yearly payment for monthly is twelve times one six is one times one seven. Every year, I pay the bank nineteen thousand four hundred. $97.24. Okay, that was with monthly. Accelerated bi-weekly. Okay. We calculated our accelerated bi-weekly payments to be, oh, there it is, $812.38. So our payments, PMT, was 812 and 38 cents. How many payments in a year do I make if I pay bi weekly? 26. That's right. I take half of the amount of weeks in a year, I make 26 of these payments. When we multiply these two numbers, 1, sorry, 812.38 times 26. When I do this method, I pay the bank $21,121.88. So, accelerated bi-weekly, I end up paying a lot more per year. About $1,500 more every year I pay on an accelerated bi-weekly. Okay, I'm going to take the information I have, I'm going to put it into the calculator, and... Look for the variable that I'm essentially missing. Now we knew our bi-weekly payments were $812.38. The interest rate was 3.09. The present value of the loan was $340,000. Future value, there is none. Payments per year, I make 26 of these payments. We get compounded twice a year. I make these payments at the end of the year. What variable am I missing? And because I've increased the amount of money that I'm normally paying them, I'm going to start to pay this loan off faster than before. So we're going to figure out how long it will take us to pay this mortgage off with our new payments. So we put our cursor on N in this case. And we're going to hit our alpha enter to solve. So if you guys remember, alpha is a green button. That's the first button we hit. And enter is the second button we hit. Okay, so we fixed our little error here. It should be negative because we are paying it down. Negative 812.38. When you plug it in, how many payments did you make? Okay, 577.4, okay? That sounds like a lot. When we were doing monthly payments, we only made 300 payments, okay? But that was monthly. We're now making bi-weekly payments 26 a year. So let's figure out how many years this is. We're going to take that N, and we're going to divide it by our payments per year. So in this case, we have 577.4, and we make 26 payments a year. That means we pay this off in the course of 22.19 years, or 22.2. That's about 22 years and maybe three months. So we've paid this off about two years faster than we were going to. Because we make that many payments, 
Let's find out exactly how much money I now put into this because I'm only making 577 payments. So I take that 577, those, that's my N, and I multiply by my payments to find out total paid. So, our payments were $812.38. Our payments were 577 Well, I guess we, uh, we take point four. So we take 812.38 times... And over the course of this loan, I pay $469,068, okay? In our other loan, if you guys remember when we were doing monthly, anyone remember how much we paid at monthly? This is to figure out the difference in interest. Okay, let's, let's actually just figure out the interest to start. This is the total amount I pay. So total paid subtract by the mortgage loan. That's going to give us our total interest, okay? Anybody was asking about that earlier? Total interest. Do you have it? So our total paid was $469,068. Our mortgage was $340,000. How much interest did I pay? Perfect. So our total interest was $129,068. Let's go back to our original page with the chart, 12956. We go back to our chart. Let's compare our interest that was paid. In our other mortgage, 129068. In our other mortgage, I paid 147 thousand four hundred thirty one dollars in interest so how much interest do I save if I take one four seven four three one and I subtract the interest I pay on this loan or this mortgage Whoa, which one? Over the course of this loan, if I do accelerated by monthly payments, sorry, by weekly payments, I save $18,363. That's not very good. Now, because I normally get paid bi-weekly, if I can make sure to save the same amount off of every paycheck, it shouldn't really bother me. It shouldn't hurt me that much. $18,000. $363. So, I pay my mortgage off faster and I save almost $20,000 for myself if I use accelerated bi-weekly payments. That's a lot of money when it comes down to it, $20,000. Okay? We'll fill out the rest of the chart quickly. 26, uh, 26 payments, 112.38. We made 577.4 payments. 